Hey, my name is Angus. Most of my friends know me as Goose. I've just left a secure livelihood in the world of accountancy to pursue my ambitions of becoming a full-time singer. This log is here to document that dream. On this channel, you'll find some thrills. Over on the far side, the record for Mark Johnston, the winning most trainer in Britain. Some spills. Holy crap. And probably quite a lot of... Well, I know when you're around Cause I know the sound I know the sound of your heart If you stick around for episode one You can watch me almost decapitate a dancer with a cork What you <laughs> Oh, fuck, no! Oh. You're gonna hit me with a <laughs> And watch my ear be chewed off by a labradoodle <laughs> I hope you enjoy but even if you think this vlog sucks, please let me know in the comments below. I promise to be very offended and get extremely upset. So we're at the Normandy Hotel tonight for the first of two shows, a Grease Dirty Dancing tribute show. We're in Birmingham tomorrow, Glasgow tonight. Sold out show tonight, 600 people, which should be awesome. Excited, let's uh, go take a look. Here's the tea. tea. Smile for the camera. <laughs> So, perks of this job, I get to perform with some awesome people. This one included. Yeah. Introduce yourself. What's your name? Where are you from? Hi, I'm Veronica. Actually, Miss Glasgow. I can't believe I'm saying that. <laughs> Tonight, I'm going to be Sandy and Baby. And Rizzo. And, and Rizzo. And everybody else. And everybody we are, else. We are the entire cast of two musicals. And this Motley crew are our amazing dancers. They're so great that they've had to start rehearsing here in the green room 15 minutes before the show. Well, none, none of us have any idea what we're supposed to be doing. <laughs>
Hmm? I know, it's my last, uh, last ever, hopefully, vote today dancing show. Alright, it's alright. I still have work because I'm playing at Sam's wedding. It's all good. I mean, it is like, what, two, two years away? It's the 19th, three, three years not the camera's sake, because you'll forget the 19th of June, <laughs> 2021. <laughs> <laughs> if fiance is watching, that's the date of your wedding, Paul, don't forget. Remember. <laughs> Alright, we smashed that one tonight. We've got to do it all again tomorrow. <laughs> Say bye! 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 bye. bye. So, and we are off. We did a sellout show for 600. Now we've got a nice long four and a half hour, 300 mile drive down to Birmingham to do it all over again tonight. I have no idea what size the audience is this evening. I'm assuming a few hundred again. And yeah, ready to knock it out of the park. Let's do it. Just arrived here in Cannock, 20 past six, middle of winter, and the weather is absolutely grim. I think the audience are gonna start arriving at half past. So, uh, gonna get straight in there, get the microphones checked out, and get ready for the show. So the sound check's going really, really terribly, which is always great. This little monitor behind me, which is just for us to listen to on stage. And we've got loads of sound coming through the monitor, it's fine, we can hear it, but the audience can't. The one saving grace. Save a bleh. No more sense of that, break your light weight. I've got you like bush. The one saving grace. It's a stressful start to a gig. So that the gig comes with a free bar. Hello, chicken nugget. <laughs> <laughs> Initially, I was told that drinking before a gig is very unprofessional. I shouldn't do it. And five minutes later. I'm not sure Rachel's grasped the fact that we're actually in a Grease Day dancing show. She has adopted for an avatar look. <laughs> she's got to make her face blue and then she's uh, she's ready for the big screen. <laughs> Kirsty's working on it. I'm cleansing Jamie. This is how you get all the hair. You work. All them hairs. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> It is nearly 
Showtime. Show done. So many technical issues, uh, but everybody smashed it. So we're all happy. Is that I'm good. <laughs> I'd be happy with a drink. <laughs> Go on, put four more in there. Oh my God. <laughs> I guess I'm. The fact that I'm not famous enough to have somebody carry this stuff for me just doesn't go well with me. I feel like I should have roadies for this. Only perks of a gig like this is that now all the cast are going back to a hotel and yeah, so it's much. <laughs> if it's anything like last year, I'll wake up too drunk to drive and have to sleep in a car park until half four in the afternoon. <laughs> I can't wait. <laughs> is it like dodgy drinking? We have to go to a petrol station at two o'clock in the morning to buy booze. The guy definitely thinks we're here to rob him. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Cider. Hey, whatever. <gasps> See the fact you can buy petrol. Like, no, like, petrol and bev. <laughs> 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 you can go to somewhere that only cars can come. <laughs> 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 buy alcohol. <laughs> 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 Thank you. I oh, know. I also have the keys. You're gonna have to, like, can you fondle me a bit? Go on. <laughs> the, look how fucking well down these are. <laughs> Jesus. Don't pull them down. <laughs> it's the creepiest sunset. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, what is this? It's like a cabbage patch though. Smooth operator. Did you get some things? Welcome to Amanda, Miss Jesus Kill as ever? Uh, no, because uh, you guys aren't in it. <laughs> yeah, well, he's my friend. Do you want one? Okay, one. Oh my god, it's like that. What? Right. Something close, I guess. What's that? What? Good morning. I've had two hours sleep. This was a terrible, terrible habit. <laughs> <laughs> Fortunately, I think Hannah feels about as shit as I do, so <laughs> at least I'm at least I'm not suffering a lot. In the Time to go. <laughs> Cheers, it is. Chara. I'm heading back to my parents' house in Yorkshire now and I'm gonna do absolutely nothing for two days. I cannot wait because I am exhausted.
So I'm back at the parents' house in Midland and loving the couple of days off. I'm finally getting a good couple of nights sleep, which I desperately needed. And I thought I'd end the vlog by introducing you to the family. And I don't mean my brother or my parents, I mean these adorable specimens. This is Sweet. She is an ex racing greyhound and possibly the sweetest dog you've ever seen in your life. This wee terror is Dougal, the Labradoodle. Here you go. Come say hi. Here you go. Mm. Dougal enjoys eating ears. <laughs> Uh, very, very long walks and more eating ears. <laughs> ow! Ow! You silly dog. Oh, you silly dog. Oh, God. And this old boy is Nasha. Now, Ganache is nearly 15 years old and a bionic dog. He was kicked in the face by a horse when he was two or three. Oh, hello, Dougal. Oh, ow, don't bite me. Don't eat me. Don't eat me. He was kicked in the face when he was a couple of years old. Metal plate in the side of his head holding his face together. Now I've got metal in the back of his legs. Yeah, but nearly 15 years old and his tail still wags when you scratch his ass. Oh, scratchy bum. Oh, sh oh scratchy bum. Yeah, Nash is just the dude of the house. So I hope you enjoyed meeting the canine side of the family. And that's it for this vlog, numero uno. If you made it this far, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. That's a teeny tiny bit of my life and a little bit of what you can expect to come. I'm moving out to France on January 1st for a few weeks to do some singing out there. So the content is gonna get much, much more exciting. I'm going to try and publish vlogs every Thursday, which means next week we have three gigs and Christmas. So you'll get a little sneak preview into what Christmas is like in the Johnston family household. So if you enjoyed this, then definitely hit subscribe below and the little bell icon so you get notifications the next time I publish a video. Thanks so much for watching. Ciao for now.